Yeah, you're a you god. get all the girls. You get everything. We're all dressing in our surf clothes. Right. And the one thing with surfing that I tell people, take away <clears throat> all the BS and all of that, it's still the funnest thing I've ever done. That's why I've kept doing it. It still feels better than anything. And that you can't argue with, you know? So I would encourage you, have you ever stood up on a surfboard before? I did manage to completely almost obliterate my nipples. Yes. Just, just yep. going out. Yeah, because, yep. but, but just to total, you know, openly, open honesty here, uh, I probably did a, I probably did about eight bong rips and then I thought, now I'm going to go out <laughs> and try to paddle out and that without a top on or anything. Yeah. But I did stand up for about, Man, I don't know, three seconds and it was fucking exhilarating. Yeah. But I was too stoned. It was like, wow, this is this is gonna be a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. We need to get you out there in the right experience on the right board at the right waves in the right frame of mind. And you'll you're you're gonna be like, I'm switching this podcast to surf only. I'm changing my life. I'm selling everything and I'm on board the surf train. Amazing. You, dude, it happens Amazing. all the time. Amazing. Because the people that start in their forties. 50s 60s 30s like they go all in hard like yeah it's fun to watch but then um, you're like yeah it's it's a hard sport so yeah, yeah. It takes a time. i think you are first of all i think i might have just fallen in love with you i have a man crush Thank with you, you right now yeah no, it's, total bromance hey bro i have a bro, yeah. bromance with you too that's why i let you speak with my wife i needed a minute to gather my thoughts so she was my diversion yeah, that's it. Amazing. I appreciate it. <laughs>